Over the years, Shaiko has been able to create a name for himself in the Siege community, and he is now considered to be one of the best fraggers who ever touched the pro scene. Seven, he's starting to turn on ace. BDS need, as I said, he's sort of at the end. Oh, Shaiko, unfortunately, oh, yeah. nice. You guys made this very clear after my Bolo video, but things were always like this for Shaiko. So today I'll be showing you Shaiko's comeback and how he went from being banned from pro play entirely to becoming one of the best fraggers in the entire league. Shaiko's first taste of competitive play was on March 7th, 2017, when he joined ERA Esports and competed in the Coup de France tournament. The team's roster ended up meshing well, and they would place third in the tournament, which is pretty impressive for Shaiko's debut. The ERA Esports roster wouldn't last long for him, though, because he would end up joining B Geniuses just a month after the tournament's completion. This team change ended up being the right call, though. The French roster slowly climbed the Challenger League ranks and dominated. Non, et Masque a pas dû avoir l'information. Oh, et ouais. le bon kill de Shaiko ici sur Valet. Attention, le double est peut-être en info en dessous. Sneaky qui est au prépayer au fond. Et le kill qui passe! In the following season, his new team would manage to earn a spot in Pro League through the Challenger League relegations, and their first official match in Pro League showed how much of a mechanical god he was. It was like he was Bolo on steroids. There it is. Dizzy gets popped up. And there is Yogurt. He'll go. Unfortunately, though, Liven knows he's there. Go. Kandela's is going to bounce. Shaiko gets blinded, but not for long. He's going to move on. Going to have Yogurt try to repel in. Beat Genius will win this series 2 0. This match made Shaiko's insane skill known by a much larger portion of the Rainbow Six Siege community. Before, he was only really known in the French pro scene, but he was now known by most of the community. And questions immediately began spreading on the legitimacy of his play. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? While at the time, the skill gap of Siege seemed higher than it was, and a lot of the community believed that playing at Shaiko or Bolo's level was damn near impossible. And since Shaiko was in Pro League, he was under a much bigger microscope. On top of Pro League, he also occasionally posted his highlights onto YouTube, and some of the insane plays in these videos didn't help his case. Even though the community was skeptical of his legitimacy, their skepticism would turn into outright accusations soon enough. Because after his team's match against Penta, the entire community would turn against him. To put it simply, he dominated this match. Shaco's gonna grab K patches. Let's take over this one fourth of top. Taking up that headshot on the Bobby. This is gonna spell disaster. Shaco moves on in, dropped in from the corner office into Pando. He's gonna grab a 2K. So far. Oh, the small room. B Geniuses may have lost, but he proved that he was one of the best players in the pro scene against Siege's most dominant team in history. Now, after this match, someone had finally gotten suspicious enough of Shaiko's insane talent to report him for cheating. This person just so happened to be one of the most well-respected players in all of pro league, Pingu. A lot of rumors going on that there was some suspicious stuff going on and no one could really point to what it was. The story was that he had more information than you humanly possibly could, so that would refer to what we call wall hacks or some sort of way to gain information that you shouldn't otherwise have as a, as a normal human being. We then came together the entire pro league scene and we spoke to the developer of Moss, which is the anti-cheating program that we use in pro league, and we found this like macro sequence code at the bottom and we send all that information to ESL. After ESL reviewed the report that Pingu submitted, they would announce on October 11th that Shaiko was banned. This was due to the cheating software used in Pro League detecting a macro, specifically of Shaiko allegedly spamming his four key at a near inhuman rate. The community erupted and speculation began to spread on whether his ban was justified. But despite it all, Shaiko continued to hold his ground, still claiming that he wasn't cheating. What comes to mind immediately is that it doesn't make you laugh to know that part of the community will just consider him as a cheater who purged his pain. Si, mais ça je vais le prouver, je vais leur prouver comme quoi euh, en faisant des LAN et tout que bah, j'ai pas cheat en fait, je suis toujours le même. Même après le ban, je suis toujours le même et ils vont bien le voir en fait, ils vont bien le voir. I wrecked him, he cry. He cut the and I got the so that meant the entire B Geniuses roster was disqualified from Pro League, and on top of it all, Shaiko was hit with a two year suspension from Pro Play. This meant that he would have to wait until he was 21 if he wanted to compete again. This put all of Shaiko's momentum as a pro player to a screeching halt. Shaiko and his team as a last ditch effort immediately began gathering all the evidence they could to prove his innocence. They uploaded an hour long video of them showing how bad Moss is as a software and how results with it are unreliable. Uh, là, forcément, elle a été répétée moins de fois, vu qu'il y a un délai qui est beaucoup plus grand. 
After all his team's research, they had also developed a theory as to what had happened. At the time, the community had speculated that he was spamming his 4 button as some sort of macro for recoil control, or pretty much any other cheat in the book. But his team would reveal that his 4 button was tied to his gadget in an unedited gameplay video they posted to YouTube as proof. So the team's explanation was that he was spamming his 4 button since he was playing Habana in the match he was banned. Keyboard or the computer register it, he couldn't, like it was a bit too fast, so you press it very hard, especially on 4 when he's playing with Ibana. So it's happening because he, he has to to activate the X Kairos, so he's like pressing 4, 4, 4, 4 and, and smash it, so, so it's activated as fast as possible. Those who saw all the evidence were outraged by ESL's decision, and rightfully so. But the majority of the community either didn't view the evidence, or just took Pingu and ESL at their word. Since Pingu was extremely well respected and to this day is considered to be one of the goats in Siege, it was really hard for Shaiko to fight the allegations thrown his way. Even with all the evidence he had mounted, ESL decided to uphold the decision and Shaiko would stay banned. But throughout this ban, he would continue to be harassed and belittled on the issue by his viewers and Pingu himself. Yeah, yeah, he's always cheating. Oh, you listen to you, little... Dude, this guy, I swear! Why is he not imploded? What the fuck? Because he got banned, a Lamau. <laughs> Behind the penguin. Oh, what? Oh, oh, guy eliminated all oh, he's so fast. Oh. I'm telling you, he's cheating. Now, despite all of the stress and constant harassment he was likely going through, Shaiko would continue to play and make content on Siege throughout his ban, with the hopes of eventually coming back to Pro League when the ban expired. Let's just say that throughout his ban, he definitely didn't fall off. <laughs> Around this time was when more and more people began to question the legitimacy of the ban brought against Shaiko. Maybe he really was just spamming his gadget button, or maybe it was just a bug with the Moss software. Could it have been that he was just so good that the pro scene wasn't ready for him? Well, none of these questions could be answered, and to this day, we have yet to get a confirmed answer on whether or not he was using a macro that day, and I don't think we ever will. But despite it all, ESL would end up ending his ban six months early on April 24th, 2019. And just one month later, he would be picked up by a new roster under the org BDS Esports. They quickly qualified for Challenger League and began practicing for DreamHack Montreal, Shaiko's first LAN since the ban. People knew that Shaiko was going to do well considering his showings in the past and all the recent clips that had been floating around the internet, but none of them were expecting him to be as dominant as he was in this tournament. Tades out and he's going to find another under pixel and another. There is no fear in this. Oh hand. my god! Oh my! He's outside! You can't That's stop 24 this kills! Now. Oh! 24 That's kills! The record. After breaking the kill record for a LAN match, he was now matched up against G2 Esports, the same roster that was owned by Pinta. And on it was Pingu, the guy who got him banned nearly two years ago. Let's just say things were personal for Shaiko this time. Once again, and Shaiko finds him through the wall, through the hole that was made. Shaiko is literally like the John Wick of Siege, man. Shaiko finds another one Faith that smoke dead. Goga is all alone here. One versus four, not even gonna find the first one. Shaiko closes it out. Shaiko's in a great spot to find another kill here. If things quiet down, oh! going off. He finds Pengu! What? Oh, what? what? And Fabian as well? A triple for Chico? This is an unreal performance. It's two versus the world. They don't have an inch in this world. Chico finds a fourth. He's looking for the ace. BDS is just powered up. Yeah, They're absolutely. powered up. They're, 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 they're max. Look at that panic just peaking. They are so running at round. maximum power. Oh, now, they wouldn't end up winning the whole thing, but Shaiko finally being able to get back at the person that got him banned was hugely satisfying. And after his record-breaking performance in the event, everyone was talking about him, and he had become the talk of the community. People wanted to see where he would go. If he was capable of dominating lobbies full of Siege's best players, what was stopping him from becoming a world champion? Well, with some roster changes and a lot of practice, the team was able to accomplish some amazing things. BDS would place fourth at Invitational 2020. Down. Psycho's gonna have to clutch up hard. It's the second to die. Only 20 seconds left for that plant. It's a stick, stick from Rafael, so a one-on-one -on -one effectively here. Psycho wins it! And now another one-on-one -on -one as Rafael's in the post plant! There it is, though! No Psycho! Way! 4K! And Ninjas in pajamas! The 7-4! Taking the map and the series!
They would win the 2020 EU major, beating out G2 in the finals once again. Virtue, is this the beginning of the end for G2? That is the question. Out oh, come another is. couple of kills. One versus five now. The hopes of G2 no. rested with the last man, but no. After that, they would have a little bit of a rough patch, but they would end up bouncing back and qualifying for the Yongshiping major, where Shaiko would play a huge role in them winning it all. He's going to get the plant. It's a three versus four. Oh, my BDS. A tour de force from BDS. They are your major champions. After adding their first international trophy to the trophy cabinet and securing themselves a spot in the 2023 Invitational, they had became the EU's greatest powerhouse overnight. Even though BDS was recently eliminated from the 2023 Invitational, Shaiko has still made an incredible comeback where he went from being in the spotlight for getting banned by ASL to now being an R6 major champion with one of the highest player ratings in the entirety of Pro League. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, I make Siege content just like this twice a week. So go to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Twitter if you don't want to miss the next upload. If you want to watch another video just like this one, a video will be popping up on your screen right now where I talk about Bolo's rise to the top. I'll see you next time, friends, and peace.